for some reason I just said there's something wrong, like I, I felt it. Cancer is uh, at a high uh, rate in this area. It can cause cancer of skin, cancer of liver, cancer of bladder, cancer of uh, uh, lungs. There was funerals and there was this one being diagnosed and that one, like for a while it was, it was actually pretty scary to be living here. This hairstylist has lived in Morton's Harbor with her family for over 30 years. They're happy and healthy, but afraid. My name is Debbie Rideout, and I live in Morton's Harbour, which is 30 minutes from Tollingate on New World Island. I got married to my husband 32 years ago, moved to Morton's Harbour. It's very beautiful. I had never been here before I met my husband. There was no hairdresser in Morton's Harbour at that time. So I thought it was a good opportunity for me to maybe start my dream, I guess, of having my own business. And we built this house from the ground up and um, we moved in the day, we, the day, two days after we got married, which was 32 years ago. And at that time we dug a well for water, we, just a surface well. Back then it, was, it still is a pretty big issue, having enough water. And uh, so we decided to drill an artesian well. And the water was crystal clear, perfect. The people of Morton's Harbor have been drinking from private wells for decades. At the time that we had the well drilled, the company just told us that we had to get our water tested for bacteria. Everything was fine. We had no bacteria, no E. coli, nothing to worry about. You're fine, good to go. But they didn't know their wells contained one of Earth's most toxic minerals. I practically raised my sons drinking this water. And I had been always the mother that told them to don't drink pop, drink water. So we drank it for, used it, drank it for probably 15 years. I, uh, I felt there's something going on with myself, with me. I felt tired and not saying it was the water, but as soon as I heard it, I just stopped and I said to my husband, I said, I, I got a feeling. Arsenic is actually one of the most toxic elements uh, on Earth. Atanu Sarkar researches arsenic in well water across Newfoundland. He's found worrying links between private wells and illness. It is sometimes considered super toxic. Arsenic uh, mostly affects all human organs. It is definitely a very strong carcinogen, and that's why in water quality measurement, uh, in the monitoring, arsenic is one of the major uh, criteria any government should take care of. In 2004, a new doctor came to town, Daniel Hewitt. He started noticing strange symptoms in his patients from Morton's Harbor. Dr. Hewitt at the time was concerned that the water was maybe a problem why so many people in our area were getting sick. The doctor told me that this area has a lot of the report of cancers. In Morton's Arbor, Valley Pond, Bridgeport, Tizard's Arbor. It can cause cancer of skin, cancer of liver, cancer of bladder, cancer of uh, uh, lungs. He had told me that he heard about the arsenic mine that was in Morton's Harbor back in the 1900s. And so he took it upon himself to get a sampling of people's water. And they found a huge level of arsenic. We got a call within, I don't know, for hours or day, and he said, don't drink it, yours is bad. 865 parts per billion is what we had in our water and 10 parts per billion is deemed safe by the scientific community. Nobody can actually tell me what that did to my sons or to us. 
After the discovery, people stopped drinking from their wells, but that led to a new problem. It meant the town didn't have access to clean drinking water. So one local club stepped in to help. Uh, one big project that uh, we're trying to get off the ground is securing a water filtration system uh, that will remove arsenic uh, from uh, our well water. Our idea right now is to have it uh, probably somewhat similar to what you may see in some like grocery stores, places where you would uh, fill up uh, reusable water containers. Here in Canada, we often take for granted the fact that clean drinking water is accessible to us at all times. Uh, that's obviously not the case with the recent findings in our uh, local uh, artesian wells. Um, and with that, uh, you know, people are getting sick. And, you know, maybe I'm prematurely making the connection between the two, but it looks like all signs are pointing in that direction. Was that something that people in the community were noticing too? Were people saying, like, it's yes. weird that there's a lot of people Everybody out. was talking about it. It was a common subject because there was funerals and there was this one being diagnosed and that one. Like, for a while, it was, it was actually pretty scary to be living here. The problem is the chemicals. Sometimes some of the chemicals don't change the taste and color of the water. So people think that the water is perfect because we always go by the color of the water. It should be transparent, no taste, no smell kind of thing. And if that's perfect, we take, think the water is fine. But possibly the water might have an arsenic, but not uh, physically not showing any evidence for that. Generations of politicians have known about this rash of arsenic deposits across Newfoundland. Well water scares go back years. This is the well in Chapel's Cove where the arsenic was found. It happened naturally, minerals in the ground mixed with the water. The last thing we expected was arsenic, you know, uh, every time we had our wells tested we were told we had excellent drinking water in the town and uh, then all of a sudden we were bombed with this one, you know, big concern. Sarkar wanted to know if years of drinking arsenic had actually made people sick. We got the cancer data from the provincial cancer registries, and we then compared the cancer rates with the control populations like Gander and Twillingate, which are living in a very close to that area, but still they have public water, the water is regularly tested, and report shows no arsenic, and we found almost 25% higher. Now, I cannot say, even now, that those are always due to arsenic, but definitely that shows that arsenic exposed populations having higher level of cancer compared to the populations who, whose water is actually arsenic free. Would you call it a cancer cluster? Well, it is very strong words, cancer cluster. I am a bit cautious about making this statement until unless I do some kind of investigation. But based on my experience with my other colleagues across the world who have done similar kind of research, I discussed with them and they said, you can actually call it cluster, cancer cluster. But again, I'm telling you, it might be a little bit politically sensitive, so I'm a bit cautious in making this statement. Well drillers say they aren't legally required to test water for arsenic or other minerals. That responsibility lies with the homeowner. The Department of Environment refused to offer a clear explanation about why. Nobody had ever told us that we should have our water tested for minerals. If at that time somebody had said to me, send your water, I would have sent it to wherever they had told me. Debbie Rideout's family hasn't gotten sick, but it's something Rideout will worry about for years to come. Yeah, I did everything as a parent to keep them safe, but one thing I failed, and that was the water, and I had no idea. <laughs>